happy day, happy Monday. Um, I hope you're doing well. I am very tired. <laughs> it has been a full weekend and I'm sure you guys have had the same thing. Um, as it gets warmer outside, uh, time starts to fill up and we want to do more things outside. I saw a lot of you had some sun on your face. Um, that was awesome. And so just being outside and enjoying everything. So, um, <clears throat> I wanted to read to you one verse today, Luke 1, 37. For no word from God will ever fail. And this verse hits me so hard because I, I mean, I just love it. It's part of my story and it's also part of why I'm in children's ministry. And so some of you know my story and some of you don't. Um, but I did not have a home where um, God or Jesus was brought up and that um, that was sad. And so, but I also struggled with a lot of other things. My father was an alcoholic and so my home was a very dark place. It was a very um, depressing place um, and not a lot of love um, going around there to begin with. Uh, my mom was gone a lot of the time to avoid my father, but that left me at home. And so if he was at home, I was at home, or sometimes he would just leave. And so I was by myself a lot, um, which actually is one of the reasons why I like being by myself so much, because it's such a, a, a time where I knew I was safe and, and I was okay. There was nothing that was gonna hurt me because I was by myself. And so a lot, of, a lot speaks into that. But one of the reasons why I love this verse so much is I had a friend um, in kindergarten. Her name was Tanya Yan, and um, she had six brothers and sisters. And so I didn't go over to her house very often. In fact, I was explaining, I only really went to her house one night for a sleepover. I was over there to swim and do other things um, other days, but I had one sleepover there. And it was so meaningful to me because at night before bed, we all gathered around in the living room and um, Rich, her father, read from God's word. And I'll tell you now, I don't remember what he read. Um, I don't really remember anything other than how I felt. Um, I felt love and I felt joy and I felt peace. I felt excitement. I felt alive. I I remember being there, just being giddy and so excited about what I had heard. And why that gives me such joy now is because I know I get to be a part of that every day. I mean, specifically on Sundays, but um, you know, on Wednesdays when we see the kids and different cards I get to write to the kids or just interactions with the parents. Um, I get to be a part of that every day because at some point in time, a child is going to experience that same aha moment, that same time where God implants that word on them that's so strong that they can feel it and they may not be able to they may not be able to form words or figure out what that means. And for me, I mean, obviously it took years. And, but one of the things that I know is that from that day forward, God's word entered into my heart and mind. And it did not fail. And that's what brings me such great joy about what we get to do every week is because it's those connections that we get to make with each child. And maybe it's just a snippet and maybe it's, you know, um, a little tiny conversation. Um, but we get to see that. And sometimes we just lose sight of that because we get so frustrated in the other stuff that happens. You know, like having to try to get everyone's attention or having to try to get them excited about doing movements um, while worshiping God. But at some point through their journey, 
they're going to hear God's word and he is going to put it in their mind and put it in their heart. And I'll tell you, friends, it will not fail. God's word will not fail. And so I just want to bring you great hope and great encouragement from our Father in heaven who cares about every child. And that includes children who are brought up to know God the whole time and children who may only get one night with the king. One night with their heavenly father that changes them years and years and years down the road. But his word never fails. And so I pray that you hide it in your heart and you rest on it. And it brings you comfort and peace and joy in the midst of overcoming great struggles, great depression, great anything that you're coming up, great struggles that you're coming up with, or even little struggles. I pray that that gives you encouragement today. Have a great week.